Now this is what I use. Um, I got this little uh, kit at um, at Staples, uh, mostly because I was looking for this product. Uh, this, it's just a little measuring tool. And it's what I measure uh, my parts of my face with. And these are the drawing pencils I use to do my sketch. It depends on the kind of paper you're going to use, uh, what color you use. But you don't ever want to use black or white because they don't blend in with face colors where the brown and orange and pinks will uh, blend in with face colors. I use this lavender one. Uh, it's a gray, la grayish lavender. I use that for inside the eye. And I use a blue for the darkest areas and a green for the shadow areas. And um, I'm going to show you now how to, how to get it going. Here I'm using a, uh, a little uh, tool I got from um, Staples. It's just a, a measuring tool. And I'm lining up all my parts of the face. Uh, I don't use black for drawing. I just use a bunch of different colors. And as I progress, I change colors because I keep correcting the drawing. Uh, I keep taking measurements all along. Uh, this is going to be a large face on a it's going to be similar to the drawing, the photograph. And here I'm measuring the nose and lining up the eyes. I have to have the right angles because if you have one right, they all have to measure up to that one part. And um, well, for an example, uh, I did measure this one wrong and I'm going to have to redo it. You'll see at some point I'll just say, oh, that ain't right. When I start checking it out with the other sections, I can tell it's off. And you have to do that too. This is the only play time when you can actually correct your drawing. It's right here at this drawing stage. So um, here I correct my nose because I'm lining up the mouth with the nose. And if the nose isn't right, the mouth isn't going to be right either. And I'll just go crazy trying to fix it. Okay, I'm still scribbling my drawing out. doesn't matter what color I use. I, I'm just trying to get my lights and darks uh, indicated. And I'm trying to use colors that when I use my uh, other pastels, these colors will mix or go with. And I kind of like strong colors, so this isn't too far off what I'm going to do. I'm deciding where I'm going to have some lights and where I'm going to have some darks still. I'm in the mi middle tone areas. Um, these are nice colors for underneath the colors I'm going to be putting in. I'm still correct in my drawing. That's why I haven't started with the pastels yet. I can tell my drawing's not right. One thing that bothered me while I was doing this was the eyes looked so small, but I had measured them, so I figured they were in the right place, so I didn't want to change them. Those were the one things I did measure, and um, I measured the nose and changed it twice. And I think I'm about done pretty soon here. I'm going to start getting out my pastels. Not yet. You keep using the pencils till your drawing looks uh, lined up. Like, if it looks like it's just stuff you could fix with your soft pastels, you can quit at this point. But I can tell soft pastels aren't going to go over some of these areas. The next step is going to be picking out the pastels from um, my pastel box. And here I go over um, trying to find what colors I'm going to need. And I've picked this palette. It's a cool, it's a warm palette. And I pick out my colors. I've got a couple greens and a couple purples. 
to contrast with my nice oranges. I'm still trying to find that dark shade for the one side of the face and uh, I'm not happy with anything I see. So I figure I'll figure it out as I go. Now I'm digging around looking for some. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm checking that with the... Uh, I'm trying to find another color that has the same value but not the same color. That's what I'm digging around for. Okay, I messed with my camera and I'm getting ready. I've got all my pastels picked out. I'm putting on a layer of green in the parts that aren't going to get full sunlight. Now I'm adding my orange. My highlight, well, really, it's my lightest color. It's not my highlight, it's just my light color. I'm careful to leave um, the dark area for my eyes there. My young man's going to have black hair, so I thought I'd give him some purple highlights. So I put those in first. Now I just keep trying different colors uh, to get the tones I want. Uh, I overlay <clears throat> without destroying the color I put in. I'll overlay um, one color over another and leave part of it. Here I'm just trying to get the shape of the mouth. It's not necessarily the teeth. I, I work on everything at the same time. It's funny to watch myself work. <laughs> his, his, uh, I can tell his neck's too big here. I enjoyed working on this young man because he looks like my youngest son. My youngest son's about 30. Uh, he just turned 35. Okay, now I'm getting the shading. I decided on this purple color because I kind of like it. Purple, green, orange. Really strong colors, but they make such a nice portrait. You'll see. And you see how I just layer? I'll pull up a color and I'll layer it over another color just to subdue it or liven it, whatever, whichever I'm doing. I just don't like how dark his face is on the one side in the photograph, so I don't want to do it that way. Add a little bit of brown to the hair now. And I thought, well, I'll throw it into the shadows too, because it looks good. It's kind of a charcoal gray that I have in my hand right now. I put a lot of curls in with the purple and then I went over it with the black and it, see it just looks like natural hair now. Uh, my, my teeth I'm just sort of shading in. Uh, I, I haven't got around to drawing the teeth yet. I just do them a little bit at a time, put a little shading in, then I put some gums in. I don't draw each individual tooth, I just keep uh, working on the shading of the overall smile. Getting some mid-tones in. The nose is always a little red. Redder than whatever color you're using for the face. So this is my mid-tone, the orange. I used uh, 
the same tone as the orange, uh, I got like a rose color for the lips. Put a little bit all over the face. Okay, now what am I doing? Work down his eyes a little bit. He's got a deep blue eye and um, the eyes aren't really visible in my photograph. I had to call somebody to ask what color they were. So I thought, well, I'll get a little bit of blue in there because they said they were blue, but even though you can't see them, I figured they should be blue. Now I've got um, a pencil. That means I was working on the gums uh, around his teeth. Now I got a white pencil, threw a little bit of white stuff out there. You see I use a lot of green. People don't realize how much green there is in, in your flesh tones. And I'm not trying to make it look realistic. I'm, I just want it to look like him. And I like, I like the look of pastels and the different colors. So I have a tendency to get really bold with my colors. See how you work all over the face? It's sort of like when you work on a landscape. You don't want to work in one spot or it'll get done and the rest, and it won't coordinate. See, now I'm adding some blue into the shadows. And I was working on the ear there. Get some more sun on his face. Shaving his teeth. Uh, getting some little curly hairs with the darker char charcoal because uh, let's see if I get closer so you can see. I'm going to do the hair. I, I kind of work all the way around. I, I guess I got this going too fast. Uh, I just kept squiggling the dark. Uh, oh. It's the first time I got a dark pencil out now. Getting getting things um, identified a little bit better. I did like little squigglies in his hair. And I kept doing that over and over again until it started looking like hair. Still working on the eyes. I'm almost done. This was about an hour and a half and uh, I just got tired, so I quit. <laughs> and I'll probably finish it up tomorrow. I'll put some finishing touches on it, because uh, tomorrow's another day. I'll see things I didn't see today when I look at it.
And this is the end. I'm finishing up so I could go eat dinner. And I wanted to get this put away for you so you could see how to go about it yourselves. I know some of you are anxious to get going. See you for the next lesson. Bye-bye.